What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing a Cavalon battle over here. This one over here I got at Prestige Wine and Liquor, Wines and Spirits. Prestige Wines and Spirits in Edmonton, Alberta. This one over here, somewhere in Alberta as well. It was bottled exclusively for Canada uh, by Truth Malters. Uh, both original bottlings, but um, bottled for and by different companies. I believe this was still through Truth Malters, if I'm not mistaken, the Cavalon uh, rum cask, whereas this is an Oloroso Sherry. Yeah, Oloroso Sherry Solist, 57.1 on the Oloroso Sherry and 56.3 on the rum cask. The rum cask is about 10 years old. Okay, it was bottled in 2011, or sorry, barreled in 2011, bottled in 2021. Uh, this one over here, the Oloroso Sherry exclusively for Canada, was barreled in 2015 and bottled in 2021 as well. Um, so, gonna start with the older rum cask because it's a little bit lighter on the palate, less uh, robust than the Oloroso Sherry. Quick couple things to note, if you like what I say about the Cavalon rum cask uh, from Prestige Wine and Spirits, uh, you can only get this from there. So I believe it's about $200 and maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, their prices are tax in, so keep that in mind. Okay, so tropical fruit bomb on this one. Lots of mango, papaya, kind of get like the distant smell of a margarita. You get like some maybe lime and like almost a minty kind of note. Really, really nice. Sugared pineapple on the nose as well. Wow. Very, very tropical. This is definitely coming to its own. Uh, it was good off the hop. <clears throat> Even better now. Yeah, I've had a rum cask solist from Cavalon before and it's just not as good. This one is much, much better, much better. Obviously it's much older as well. So for 200-ish dollars, um, a Cavalon aged in a subtropical climate, almost 10 years old, that's a great deal, I think. All right, like I said, tropical fruit, bomb on the nose, on the palate. Super sweet. The tropical fruit notes definitely carry through on the palate. There is some like black tea kind of notes as well, which I love. Um, papaya, mango, um, pineapple, maybe a touch of uh, something minty. But then those black tea notes on the finish and it lasts, which is really nice. Unchill filter, no added color, which is pretty much always what Cavalon does. I do know that they have a few lower ABV expressions that I can't speak to as far as non-chill filtration, but I know that all of their solists are unchill filtered, no added color, and it says it right on the bottle. I really like this. Honestly, I loved it from the start. It's just getting better. One of my favorite Cavalons in the last little while, for sure. Um, gonna have to give this one a 90. 89, 90, somewhere around there. Uh, really, really good. Great value for the price. Uh, you're not gonna get better when it comes to Cavalon, in my opinion. Um, obviously, we gotta go over here to the Sherry Solus, which is also one of the better Sherry Solus that I've had, although only being around five years old. So. This rum cask is excellent. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link uh, for Prestige so that you guys can scoop these up if you really are interested. Um, like I said, great value in my opinion. 
as far as Cavalon goes, they are pretty expensive to begin with. Let's go over to the Oloroso Sherry Solist. Okay, so you have to enjoy a little bit of savory notes when drinking a Cavalon Oloroso Solist. I haven't had any that don't have these notes. It's almost like um, not quite curry, maybe more on along the lines of like a cumin kind of note on the nose. And the palate tends to be much sweeter usually with these Sherry Oloroso Solists. Definitely a lot of dark chocolate on the nose. Touch of like sweetness to maybe like a 70% dark chocolate kind of note. A little bit of coffee bean on the nose as well. Right, on the palate. Yeah, so nothing sulfury at all. Um, really nice palate actually. The palate is better than the nose. It's sweeter, it's less on the cumin side, more on the dark chocolate and coffee kind of notes with more sweetness. Uh, probably on the palate it drinks like it's 50% dark chocolate. Uh, the nose is more of like a 70% dark. Yeah, really nice. Truth Malters is coming out with some really, really awesome stuff. Um, they do a great job with Cavalon all the time. They've done some great stuff with Amaru. They have some other guys going as well. But a lot of their picks are bang on. Honestly, that's one of their better ones in my opinion. As far as the Sherry Solar Skull, I've had ones in the past that were just too savory for me. This one is not that at all. It's got a little bit of that cumin on the nose, but it's definitely a lot sweeter on the palate. Uh, definitely getting a little bit more dessert-like characteristics on the palate. Neither of these need water, but obviously you have the opportunity to play uh, being well over 55% for both of these guys, or at least over 55% for both of these guys. Um, again, this one's like an 89, 90, excellent stuff for the rum cask. This one I'm gonna have to give like an 88. Honestly, I would buy that again all day. Really, really good. If they continue to pop out like this, it's always good to have one on your bar. Cool little unique story behind them that a lot of people, despite uh, how long cavalon has been around, haven't had the opportunity yet to try. So uh, I like having a Cavalon on my bar at all times. And if the sherry keeps getting produced at this quality, I will always have one. Um, unfortunately for the rum cask, it's a single cask. So they're all single casks. All of the uh, Solus are single cask, so I shouldn't say that, but uh, this one is a gem in my opinion. So check that one out at Prestige if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, actually, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I think you have to love rum in order to love these rum casks. This one is definitely more rum heavy than ones that I've had in the past. And I like that. That's what I'm looking for. It kind of reminds me of drinking a four square as opposed to the one I had in the past, which I didn't even know if I was having a rum cask or a bourbon cask. It kind of didn't really show very much on the palate. All right. So again, 89.90, this one's an 88, could go as high as an 89 as well. Uh, both great value. I think they're both around 200 bucks. So check those out. Um, there may be a few of these left, but the Sherry Solis are all hit or miss. So um, be careful with that. Cavalon is really expensive right now, guys. Uh, if you get the Oloroso, you're still okay. The port, still okay. Rum, still okay. As soon as you start to get into those specialty kind of sherry casks like the PX, the Moscatel, the uh, Amontillado, the Manzanilla, um, those are astronomical in price in my opinion and probably not necessarily much better than these guys. So keep that in mind. Uh, 
these ones, as far as Cavlon goes, you're getting a deal for around 200 bucks. Okay, so like I said, keep that in mind. If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you like videos like this and you want me to keep doing them and you want the battles instead of the single bottle reviews, uh, go to the thanks button below if you like. Uh, you, I think you can do it as low as a dollar or something like that. So uh, nothing crazy, but um, that'll let me know that you really like these kind of videos. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.